When we are using the event data model, we need to make sure we are aware of the two main differences in the data elements compared to the aggregate data model, their domain type, and how disaggregations are assigned to them. Note that we are only focusing on event programs in this course. However, both event and tracker programs follow these principles and terminology described. When creating data elements for event programs, they must be created with the domain type of tracker rather than aggregate. This separates these data elements from those used in the aggregate domain. Options are the tracker model's version of the aggregate model's category options. These options make up an option set, which is a group of options. This is the tracker model's version of categories. These option sets are assigned to data elements, and when the data elements are viewed in the Capture app, the options appear as a drop-down list to select from. You would have some familiarity with option sets, as you have seen them in action during data entry and data analysis exercises. Looking at the data model for event programs visually, we can tie the entire model together. We can see that a program is made up of an event. An event contains data elements, and the tracker domain data elements used in programs can be disaggregated by option sets, which are made up of options. Back to the Dengue Surveillance Event Program example, some of the elements you would want to collect are the age of the case, the gender of the case, and the location of their household. Of course, age would be collected as a number, and location could be entered in as GPS points, but the gender would have options associated with it. In this case, you would have an associated option set called gender linked to the gender data element. This option set has the options male and female that can be chosen from. To summarize, let's have one last look at the event data model as applied to the Dengue Surveillance Program. There are five key components of the model that we have identified. The program, events within the program, data elements within the events, option sets linked to data elements, and options that are linked to option sets. Reviewing the model, we can see examples of each item as applied to the Dengue Surveillance Event Program. In the next subsection, we will continue to apply this data model to the use cases we have been using throughout this course, namely the SARA Survey and the Malaria Case Management Program. Before moving on to the next subsection, there is a short activity that is meant to stimulate recall of some of the concepts we have discussed. Give it a try and then move on to the next subsection on event program use cases.